so there were 10 1k resistors. Now the value of the resistor is not marked on the PCB. So what you have to do is go to the installation assembly and here are 1k resistors and they are 1, 2, 4, 5 and so on. Put them in, check them off, double check them because once you solder them they'll be hard to to find and hard to repair. Now you can see why these uh, blocks, QRP me blocks, I can just turn it over. Well, I can stick the leads through and they don't lay on the bench. These black spacers screwed into the blocks keep them off the bench. So. Through hole components, these are very good. So 10 resistors is 20 wires, is 20 solder joints. That's a bit much. It turns, like, it, it turns into a forest of wires. But there were 10 resistors in, in this category, so I did them all, all at once, but it, 5 is a good number to stop and solder. I'm going to proceed on following these instructions. A couple of 100 ohm resistors and so on. I return after I get all the resistors installed. Well it's nice when you have two 10 ohm resistors left and you have two unused resistor sockets that take 10 ohms. <laughs> so we hopefully got the resistors in. I think the next thing we want to do is put this switch in over here. You can't screw it up. It, I mean, you don't want it switching inside the circuit board. <laughs> so, switch goes to the outside. Okay, there's two pins on the end here that are, are uh, ground pins, are also the securing pins. They don't want to go in the holes. There we go. Took a little bit of force, you heard them snap there. So I don't need to hold that in, it's held in by friction. I'll go ahead and solder these remaining leads and the switch. Next we have five capacitors, they're all identical. Uh, they're polarized, there's a note here. Be careful to check the polarity. If you look at one of these capacitors, silk screening. You'll see it's a positive there. The solder mask is squared off so it's the positive is square, the negative is not. On these capacitors the long lead is positive. The negative lead which is indicated is short. So the long leads go in the square holes or the uh, hole mark positive. <laughs> Makes sense. The capacitors can mount tight against the board. I'll go ahead and stick all five of them in. So note that if you look at the capacitors 
the white sides indicating the negatives are all the, facing this way. I'm not going to do the pin headers just yet. I'll show you why. Here, here they show us um, inserting the sockets onto the, this board. Here they show us inserting the pin headers onto the same board. There are the capacitors I just installed. And there's where they would have me install this pin header. So I'm not going to do that right now. And they show J11 right here. Okay, J11. There's apparently a battery connector and it goes right here. I don't understand that, but since we have it, we'll install it. We'll use our reverse acting tweezers. And I'll say that again. The last thing it tells us to do, I hope, is close JP1. And JP1 is these two little squares right here. It says, note, skip this step if the battery charger is installed. Well, I didn't even know they had an optional battery charger. Okay, so closing them means Take enough solder to just jump with them together. I can't seem to get enough solder to make them go together. So I'll force them together with a wire. Let's get back to these pins and headers. What I want to do is put the pins in the headers. Push them down firmly. 
again here and here. Now what we're using these pins and headers for, is to attach this screen. And there they go. Those two go, okay. Those two. So what happens is, I like to make sure that pins and and headers are lined up with the, the mating object. The mating object is this board here. And it'll mount, once we solder it together, it'll be removable by pulling these headers apart. So there it is together. The only thing we need to do is just solder these. Well, let's see. According to this, we're done with assembly. Okay, I guess we could apply voltage and do the voltage tests. Or we can just plug this board in, which is already done by virtue of the way we installed it. We apply power and do a quick test.